In today's episode, I talked to Max about the things that could get you in trouble with just the real estate property you're looking at acquiring. This is mostly for residential homes, but keep in mind that there are things you need to look for when looking at a home. You can have the best, most competent loan officer, but if you don't know what could get in the way of getting a good loan, then you're going to have a lot of out-of-pocket costs when it comes to closing time. So stay tuned and watch this episode to learn more. Roll the intro. Other things people don't realize that they need to have, you know, when they're going to look at a house and they're going to get an FHA, mold issues, structural issues. What other kind of issues are so like that you will not get a certain type of loan if you're not 100 percent on? You know, the thing is, is at the end of the day, when you look at it, VA specifically is really strict on you have to have a wood destroying insect report. Okay. Um, there cannot be any conducive conditions on that report. If there are any conducive conditions, um, they have to be remedied. Mm. But again, it comes down to who is the inspector that looked at it? Okay. You know, technically, wood touching the house is a conducive condition. Mm. Uh, is the inspector going to call that out? Right. Are they not? Um, you know, at the end of the day, though, like for loans across the board, mm. uh, they the house has to be safe, sound, and habitable. That's the... Like FHA. That's FHA, rule. conventional, okay. VA. Right. The house has to be safe, sound, and yep. habitable. Yep. If you can see daylight through the middle of the wall, mm. that's going to be a problem. problem. Okay. You know, yeah. <laughs> if you can see that water's coming in <laughs> right. through the through roof, the roof, that's going to be a problem. Well, I'm wondering that question because sometimes for structural issues, you know, it could be $20,000 that you have to come out out of pocket just to close. That's right. That's right. Um, you know, if, and, and, you know, an appraiser might go in there and see a lot of settlement and cracks mm -hmm. and the house has shifted a little bit. They might call for a structural engineer to come out. Right. There. And then the engineer is going to say, yeah, no, it's fine. Or no, it's not. Right. You have to do X, Y, Z. That's just a thing that happens. Right. But that's right. why having a really good real estate agent yeah. is so, so important. Yeah. You know, yeah. just like having a really good loan officer mm -hmm. that's a technician and can get you through all of it is important. A, having a really qualified, good real estate agent is also just as important because yeah. they're going to be able to see a lot of that stuff yeah, going into yeah. it before you start spending money on yeah. earnest money and option money and appraisals and inspections and all of that. They're going to be able to look at it and be like, I don't mm -hmm. know, yeah. like maybe you have this issue, maybe you mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. and really guide you through to make the appropriate decisions. Hey, guys, if you like this video and the content on my channel, I have a newsletter that goes out about once a month. Come to my website, SignetInvestments.com, S-I-G-N-E-T Investments.com.